tonight. Um, I do want to apologize if I if I look distracted from time to time during this recording. Um, it's because the Rays and the Blue Jays are playing uh, as we record this. And the are Rays you watching baseball right now, Alex? For fuck's I'm not sake. watching. I'm it's not watching the game. I'm not watching the game. I just have the score up on one of my screens. What does it matter? The Mets are gonna destroy them either way. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, the Mets are in the National baseball. League. The Rays are in the American <laughs> League. I'm literally that guy. I'm literally that guy in JoJo when they like play the baseball video game. Goes, oh, that's a baseball. That's it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> no, that this. sure is sport. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anime Club After Dark, the podcast that delves into all things anime, manga, and otaku culture related. I'm your host, Alex, but you can call me Senpai. And joining me tonight, I have our poster extraordinaire, Nitai. 2 a.m. edition again. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's go. 2 a.m. <laughs> no Ain't no slip for the wicked. Am I right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And as you can tell, we have uh, another guest with us tonight on Anime Club After Dark. Guest, introduce yourself. Hi, watch me screw this up. My name is Vixen Lore. <laughs> I am Rule 34 of the internet. I am a, a variety Australian Twitch streamer. Ah, almost screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I did screw it up. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> this is what you can expect on my streams. Cursed this is the usual and, for Anime and, Club After Dark. Yeah. Cur cursed and scuffed as usual for VTubers. Uh -huh, right? I am 100% charming. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we've had we've had Vix on the podcast a couple of times now. We had you on to discuss uh, BL and Yaoi about a year and a half ago. Um, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then a couple of months ago, we had you on talking about the uh, rise of AI art. But tonight... Yeah. We have you on talking about, well, what you actually are, VTuber. Ah! Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, VTuber tonight. At, so this is kind of a, a follow-up to um, a episode of the podcast that myself and John did a little over three years ago. Um, just at the very Damn. beginning of, I know, at the very beginning of 2020, um, we, he and I, did an episode of the podcast right before YouTuber, or YouTubers, VTubers um, <laughs> really took off. Um, and were, they were still they were still getting relatively popular, but they weren't anywhere near what they are today. And I thought it would mm. be a really good um, idea to kind of revisit that and see how far VTubing has come um, since then, especially since it's really taken over uh, the streaming space in the last three years. Um, especially, especially we so early twenty twenty was like the really big explosion of VTubers mm. for Hall Life specifically. I would I would say two to three months after uh, John and I did that uh, recording, that episode is really when it started to take off majorly. And I think a lot of that everywhere. has to do with the pandemic. As as, as much sure. as I hate to say it, with people stuck inside and having nothing to do, I think that really helped the rise of VTubers. You're oh, yeah. not wrong. Definitely. I honestly, as much as the pandemic hurt the world and whatnot, it did wonders for the growth of the internet and, and people's like entertainment. Twitch specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's it, streaming in general. I think streaming really, in general, yeah. uh, took off. Um, I mean, not to, to say that it was it was weak before, but it got really strong uh, during and and still now after the pandemic. And I'd I'd like to say I think all of us here, um, well, specifically myself and Natai. I, I don't know about you, Vix, but we're we're, we're fans. <laughs> we're fans of YouTubers. I Yikes. mean, we're we're fans. <laughs> My, we're fans. I, I have. I was gifted by, by Alex a really nice Ayandarisu lantern that is right off camera. Ooh. We're, we're, we're fans, right? Right, Natai? We're, no, Alex, <laughs> you're in a different tier of fans. You're we're, you're fucking you're a devotee, you could say, of VTubers. We're, we're fans, right? <laughs> oh my god, they, they keep we're, growing. We're, They're multiplying. Hold on. I, I need my more. own merc. I got, I got so I can be in, in, in Maddox's fucking room. <laughs> Uh, so um I, I i i'm a fan um i need a screenshot of this right now God i i i'm definitely a fan as some people would say um <laughs> how do i get rid what of is the this? fucking 300 calligraphy art piece you have of Eno? oh it's behind me on the wall there you it's right over there it. there it is yeah <laughs> that that cost 300 dollars and it was a 300 dollars well spent 
The look oh of disappointment gosh. on your parents' face when you told them about it was oh, priceless. Listen, my my mom and dad, well, my mom in particular is an absolute savage. Um, in front of my friend Natai, just absolutely <laughs> roasting me for my uh, purchases I made at Otakon. I was literally going, <laughs> stop it, he's already do, dead. Right? <laughs> yeah. No, Natai, Natai can vouch for my mom being an absolute savage because he saw it in person. She was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> he was just sitting back there going, keep going. This is good. This is good. Uh, bro, I was munching on potatoes. I was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Irish and um, potatoes, the best combination. Yeah, I know, right? Um, but yeah, I... I, I do want to ask you specifically, uh, Vix, because I do remember talking to you a couple years ago, and I don't think at that time you really understood the popularity of VTubers, did you? No. I Back then, several years ago, I had a very different opinion on VTubers, and um, I, I do realize now, obviously, that it was because I was very uneducated on the on the topic. I didn't actually know or understand what went into VTubing. And now that mm. I now that I am one and I have looked into it and I've got like I, I love a lot of VTubers now, my opinion has drastically done just a complete 180. How the tables have turned. My right? the table. now, and now, now I'm one of them. And now you are a big titty <laughs> VTuber. I am. <laughs> Now it's like an obsession of mine. <laughs> I'm like, I need more. I need more money so I can pay for more. <laughs> what was the, what was the most like uh, surprising thing when you were like getting to VTubing? They were like that that really, uh, uh, that they were like, oh, so this is how this is works. You were very surprised by it once you got into the inner workings of being a VTuber that you might have think... had a misconception about beforehand. I think the biggest thing was um, the the only VTuber that I was oh, previously aware of aware aware of sorry was Easy Project Melody. No, mm. <laughs> and I I was aware of her, and as far as I knew, that was what that was what was VTubing, and I was like at the time I was an IRL streamer and a sex uh, and a sex worker, so I was like, mm, but you're not really showing yourself. You could be literally anyone on the internet. So I was like, eh. But then hmm. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure what changed, but I think I started watching uh, some a, a few other VTubers. I started watching um, Tricky Wee, and I started watching Monarch, and I was like, oh, "They are beautiful." I just love their art style, and then I loved Tricky's uh, in particular, her her personality and whatnot. And I was like, "That's." That's actually incredible. And then I was actually looking into it myself, and it was my husband, Vira, who said, maybe you should do it. It was just that one line. Mm. And then I was like, mm. So I started <laughs> looking at, like, what goes into it, the, the 2D rigging, the art style, and I was like, oh, yeah, this let's, is actually, let's actually talk about that. That takes a lot more work and stuff. There's a lot of people who think it's like it's literally you just you get a, a character design like maybe you have an idea for a specific uh, original character and you get someone to draw art of that and then that's it you just plop it up there and you go which there are people yeah. that do that they're called PNG tubers um, which yes. is I guess it's a, it's a type of VTubing it's kind of what I do when I stream yeah. on uh, uh, Twitch.tv slash Anime Club After Dark um, nice yeah. plug <laughs> nice yes. Um, <laughs> But I think there's a lot more that goes into it. it it's not as easy mm -hmm. or as fast or as cheap as anyone thinks it might be getting into it. Yeah, mm. exactly. Exactly. I've heard like a lot of a lot of people who had the same mindset that I did, which was, oh, you're too afraid to show your face on, on, on screen and whatnot. It was like, mm. actually, though, we're which still streaming. So we're <laughs> still putting in just as much work. And if not, like we're not putting in as much work in other areas but we're putting in that work that would be spent there in other mm. areas so i have learned so much more about about my computer about coding about what i need to run and whatnot than i ever did as an irl cool. streamer and that that's a funny so, uh, criticism to lob at you because you used to be an irl streamer <laughs> you know. exactly it's like yeah. i even... wasn't i was never afraid to show my face no 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 like... absolutely not and even Sorry. if you like weren't an IRL streamer beforehand, it's like like who gives a shit if it's because you don't want to show your face? That's totally cool. Yeah. Like yeah, exactly. Like it's it's it's, it's been very. Uh, I I was not recently, but I watched a lot of Iron Man streams over the past like year or two. Uh, she's mm -hmm. great. I really like her, and she 
she talked about how like being in that character sort of made her feel more comfortable and able to like make conversation yeah. and you know just be feel more free so it's yeah. like and if that's what helps people then who gives a shit if they don't want to show their face like yeah yeah well, exactly like, um, exactly that's like um, uh, a member of whole alive usada pekara um who is mm. now it, it just came out this week that she has dethroned amaranth as the most donated to female streamer in the world nice <laughs> um, nice good for uh, her uh well and that's across twitch and and youtube not just twitch um, I still mm. think Amaranth is the most donated to on Twitch, but across Twitch and YouTube combined, I think it was also Pekora good for both the, of them. Yeah, I mm -hmm, mean, mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, the hustle is real, as they say. Yeah. Um, but um, she was someone who, and she's talked about it multiple times how when she first started streaming, because she was kind of an IRL streamer before, but she never really showed her face. Um, mm -hmm. It was just stuff where you'd see her hands doing stuff. Um, yeah. And, um, and she said that becoming a VTuber and interacting every day, because she has got to be the hardest working member of whole life. She streams sometimes two or three times a day, uh, seven crazy. days That's a fair. week. Um, and uh, she says that it's really, really helped her, not cure, but definitely helped her with overcoming her so her crippling social anxiety that she has. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I have to, I, awesome. I do have to agree. Since since streaming uh, IRL and VTubing, I have never been so extroverted in my life. Mm. Hey, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I I would say that for myself, even just doing this podcast has made me far more extroverted than I was before. Not to say that I was like a total introvert before, mm. but it certainly made me way more comfortable just randomly approaching people and talking to them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Even just responding to people who talk to you, like I, before mm. it. Before I started streaming, if someone talked to me, I'd be like, mm. "Yeah." But now, if someone talks to me, I'll I'll answer. <laughs> that Friendly. journey from introvert, that journey from introvert to extrovert is something I'm really, really happy I managed to go through with. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. um, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Extroverts um, are just loud introverts. That's how it works. Yeah. So I, I'm curious. Um, since we've kind of all been watching this space for a while now, did any of you think that VTubing would become as like super popular as it is today? No. Or did you think it was going to be a fad that kind of died out after a couple of years? When I first, uh, when, when I first heard about it, I hoped that it would be a fad, but I am really mm. glad that it, it has bl um, blossomed like this. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'd say yeah. I'd say the same. Like, I kind of thought because the the first VTuber I was all ever like um, aware of was the OG herself, Keys and I, um, who has since kind of gone away and now returned in the form of an anime that is the most self-aggrandizing and woe is me thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you actually watched that? I watched the first episode. It's not good. Damn, it's I'm not, not surprised. Good. I'm not surprised. <laughs> It's like they she's just throwing shade at all these other companies that have outpaced her. And it's like, this is not a good look. That's so weird. Honestly, um, though, but at this point, it's not even the same person who used to no, be. No, she's been like right? through like three different or three or four different um, people like vo voicing and acting as the Portraying character. her. Yeah, portraying yeah. her. Um, that was the first like I, I was really into. And then, of course, there were a couple of other corporate V2 corporate vtubers um <laughs> who came after her like kaguya luna and and, and vtubers mm. like that who have also kind of all gone away in some shape or but none of them were like got to this point where freaking like you have whole alive which is enormous mm -hmm. it's yeah whole alive, whole alive at least at least in, in the in the japan sphere of vtubers whole alive is the king um has been for a while now and i don't also really to some extent in the en space like vishojo is also like really really big but i think yeah. for most people they would recognize uh people from vtubers from hall ivn rather from other well, companies i mean i meant specifically like headquartered in japan oh i um, see okay because vishojo is headquartered in san francisco um mm. uh which i feel sorry for them but um <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Hobo Live is king in Japan. I don't see that ending anytime soon. Um, and I think a big there's a lot of, of money in it. There, yep, oh, there's a, there's a ton of money in it. Um, and I think Hobo Live more than any um, VTuber agency so far has been able to diversify better than any other agency that has come either before or after them. Um, and I think one thing that I really really 
like and appreciate about how big this VTuber culture got. What like I think what the good thing it did was you had the big companies, obviously like Vichaja and uh, Hall and whatnot, but also opened the door. And like I wouldn't know how accessible. And maybe because you could like enlighten us about it, how accessible it is to actually get into it, like the actual process. But it's really cool to see, just like Vix, like more indie VTubers rise up and like mm. build their own communities around. Like there was this mm. uh, one VTuber, I think she's an indie VTuber called the uh, uh, Lee Ian, I think. I uh. sent you some videos of her. She's really cool, and like I don't think she's associated with any company. But before the big explosion of Hall Life, I don't think you would see much VTubers like her that operate on their own and have these big communities. And it's also yeah, worth yeah. pointing you know? out that the technology behind it has become way more accessible over the last couple there of years, too. Really has. Yeah. It really has. Because now all you need so. is, like, really, like, and you don't even really need, like, a separate phone, which that's, that's how they do it with Whole Live. They have, like, an iPhone that has, like, specialized heart or uh, software that's running on it, and that's mm. how they get their model tracked. Um, but now, I mean, they have stuff that's built into the webcams here. I see. Um, they have, um, well, like some members of Whole Live also wear gloves so they can have articulated hands. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, the cool I, thing. I remember, Got big uh, enough Sakura, to allow, like. Sakura Miko was the first one to have that, and she immediately did it to go like this to the camera. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she was like the, the first, first the first stream where she That's had so the articulated cool. hands. She just went like. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I just to finish that point, like I, lo I, I really like how it's cool that it got so big that it allowed like more like smaller groups and like just like smaller streamers to cultivate their own like communities, you know? Yeah, yeah it's really great. And I, 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 while they're not like agents agencies in the like traditional sense, I do see that there are some indie VTubers out there that have formed almost like these informal vtuber groups where mm. they constantly do collabs with each other and they they you know help each other out they um yeah they market each other and it, it's it's kind of cool to see um it, it's certainly not a official like in an, an in an official capacity and it's certainly not like a legal partnership but it's certainly cool to see that come together like that it's really it's how... just like a, it's just a couple yeah. of friends getting together going oh my god this vtuber is great go check them out mm. It's really funny you say it because literally last night, uh, an episode that probably at this point when this comes out already came out, uh, we did an episode with a buddy of mine, Ian, uh, Be More Brass on YouTube, who's an anti-tuber. And we talked about how there's kind of a, a not a healthy relationship in the anti-tube sphere of collaborating with each other. Sometimes it's just like people want to collab for the sake of collabing, but not for the sake of like doing, making good content together. Mm. So it's really, really heartwarming and wholesome and cool to see in the VTuber space how it's much more of, hey, let's just like, you know, chat and play together and whatnot. And yeah. we both win, you know. It's very Ooh, simple. Yeah. And very I think healthy when, as well. I think when you get together like that, when you get together specifically for the um, the the goal of having fun, that comes through on your streams. It does. Um, it really does. If you're getting I've been together doing a simply couple of chase... collaborations recently, that's that, that is just like that. Yeah, and if you're getting so together cool. just to to chase clout, I think that also shows more often than not too. It does. Um, which is is a shame because I do think just like in the anti tubing sphere or or just the content creation sphere, like we were talking about um, uh, last week. Um, I really hope it comes out because this is numbered 192 and that was numbered 191. And I really don't want to change it. Editing. <laughs> That's why I was like, whenever that comes out, I, was, I have no idea. What I really out. hope, I really hope they don't come out. We out plan of order. So I'm ahead, like, guys. We're very, we're planning ahead all the time, you know? Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely think there is, uh, there's some of that in the VTubing sphere as well, where it's people who um, are just starting out, who are trying to clout chase with, with bigger VTubers. And listen, if you're a smaller VTuber, just like if you're a smaller content creator, I don't think there's anything wrong with reaching out to um, people who have a larger audience than you. I do think there's a problem with it when you're doing it just because they have a larger audience than you. Reach out with, with yeah. an idea. Don't just say, hey, yeah. let's collab. Like, bring forth like, an idea. Like, we've we've streamed with you, Vix, on uh, on our Twitch channel before. Um, yeah. And it, I, I, I'm always the one that comes to you with an idea. It's like, hey, we both have this game. Let's play it together on stream. <laughs> Alex be like, searching, searching Vix's, like, stream library. Oh, she has that game. I'll buy it, too. There we go. Now we can collab. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not quite like that, but it's not four off either. Detective Senpai in action. Mm. Nah. That's, I mean, no. I'm kidding. That's what I got for the case That's what I got. Oh, God. There Ame, we go. The degeneracy. The yes. I'm going I'm to put it right over here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot where I was going with this this whole point. Um. Oh, collabing uh, is cool when you have an idea to collab. Yes, like to do something yeah. actually worth collabing about. You know, um, I, I will say. So you've been how long have you been doing VTubing now, uh, Vix? Um, about a year and a half. I, no, 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 no. It hasn't. It hasn't. I'm about to celebrate my one year. What am I talking <laughs> okay. about? Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Thank we actually you. on our Twitch channel, we just celebrated a year since we are well, a little over a year now at the point this comes mm. out um, of us actually getting a affiliate. I was going to say partner, but not yet. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm. I'll be, a I'll be doing to a, a subathon. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I'll be doing a subathon in September, partially mm, for awesome. a sub uh, September, but also because that will be that should be. We worked it out my one year anniversary of getting my VTuber, like getting mm. this one rigged up awesome. and whatnot. So we'll be doing my my one year then. Awesome. Um yeah. invite me on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably be uncapped. It'll go for as long as as, as long as we like. I, I I have the stamina to go for 12 hours at least. So we'll, we'll see how we go. We found out recently I can go for at least 10. <laughs> That wasn't that was nuts. I have no clue how you managed to do it. I will say I, I wanna I wanna give a special thanks for that to uh our mod Vegas who stayed with me all the ten hours on stream. Wow, what a fucking beast. Nice. I know legend. I cannot believe he stayed for the entire ten hours. I told him like you don't have to. He's like, no, no, I got this. I don't know how you <laughs> did it, because like from the very few times I streamed, whether it was just for my own like fun or as part of the podcast or whatnot. I always found myself like when I was playing a game or something after like two to three hours kind of like drained, you know, because you're all the mm. time like trying to like be a hundred percent, I guess. And like after you two or three hours, you are switched like, on oh. for the entire time. It makes yeah. it a little yeah. difficult as well when chat is quiet. Mm. I, I will say one thing that makes it a lot easier is if you have either an active chat or if you have other people with you, like if you're playing a multiplayer game yeah. and, you're, and you're conversing yeah. with them on stream, which yeah, I think exactly. a part, of, part of the reason that made it easy for me is um, we I didn't just do one game the entire 10 hour stream. I split it mm. up. Well, it was originally going to be four games and ended up being three. Um, so we started out doing like Halo multiplayer for a couple hours. Um, and we had like four or five of us on for that. And then myself and Soon, who we co we collab all the time on like uh, co-op games. Um, we played We Were Here, the very first We Were Here game. And we actually played the entire game on stream. Ah, for, nice. It was like, that well was like two hours. Um, and then um, after that, we were going to play A Way Out. Um which is another co-op game, which I've always wanted to play on stream, but we've never had it, never had the opportunity to. And both Soon and I had it, so we were going to do that. For, for whatever reason, A Way Out would not run on his computer. <laughs> oh, ah. that's a shame. So instead of actually playing that, I, I switched to um, American Truck Simulator and played that for like four and a half, five hours. That art that Burb did for you for the American Truck Simulator is awesome. I love the trucker Alex. Yeah, he made he oh. made trucker senpai, and he has he had a, a like a, a purple hat that he put on top, you know, like on on my head, and it didn't have any writing on it. So I went in there and edited a uh, skill issue on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, th thanks to Burb for that that art. Uh, for me for too. how long? Does this is for uh, directed at, uh, to Vix. For, for how? What was the longest stream you ever done as a VTuber? Um, accidentally, I think my longest stream has been eleven hours. Dang. Accidentally, <laughs> we were playing Persona, just, and I was just like, "Oops!" Casually, nice. accidental twelve-hour stream. It's fine. Uh huh. Uh huh. My streams will go for anywhere sense, between though. four and six hours usually. But we're doing Persona, mm. and we were we were. It was on a Thursday, so that's our double stream day, where I've got I've got the day and the night to either stream. So, mm. um, we were just like, Who's okay, cool. We're, we're just gonna take a half an hour break to get food, and then we'll keep going. Who's best girl in Persona? Oh, Makoto. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
I uh, that's something else that I, that made my marathon stream a lot easier. In between every game, every time we switched off a game, we took like a ten to fifteen minute break on stream. Mm -hmm. um, and then before I started the the long section of the stream, which was um, American Truck Simulator, I took mm. a twenty five minute break to eat something. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's it's good to have those break times where you can just, you know, stretch your legs, walk around, maybe get uh, something to drink, something to uh, mm -hmm. snack on for just a minute, and then get back to it. Because uh, if yeah. you're sitting down for 10 plus hours, number one, oh. your back's going to hurt like a motherfucker when you try and stand up. <laughs> no matter how good your chair is. Uh, number two, that's unhealthy. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it was uh, fun streaming with you back when I was at your place where we were like, just like, shoot the shit together while like playing whatever it was at the background but uh yeah time zones man it's just it's so difficult to catch your streams when i'm on the other side of the globe you know which is something i i've really wanted to do more of is like having some of our followers come on the streams and just backseat while i game like single player yeah. games um mm -hmm. because there's Those been a couple people in our discord servers like yeah i'll just come on and we'll talk especially for games that they themselves really love and have something to say about it yeah which I know with your I've been streams, thinking Vicks, about your doing husband comes thing. on and you can backseat mm. you. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing the same thing. We were doing, I think I was doing a call up with someone. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I was doing a call up with someone. And I was in um, I was in actual my Discord channel this mm. time. And um, one of my one of my best friends, she's also a moderator. She just came on to have her say and then left. And I was like, oh, that was that was fine. I like that. But um, otherwise, Vira and I usually just in our own private call. So I've just been thinking since we're not doing... Uh, since we hadn't been doing Persona 5 uh, recently because we finished it, I was like, maybe I should just jump into my Discord. And like, if any if anyone with the permission wants to come in and just chat with me, mm. that's cool. That's kind of what cool. I've been thinking about doing because a lot of times when I'm streaming, I just sit in one of our private um, channels that we have on our Discord server. So if Natai or John or Chinoda wants to hop in, they can and talk, but I'm thinking about just switching because we have a, a, a voice channel in our Discord server specifically for people who game with us and we kind of sort yeah. of vet them. So uh, I wouldn't open it up to a public channel because then anyone no. can come in and say anything. And that's, no, that's, you know, uh, that's, that's a yeah, big exactly. no, no. So it's I don't really be want it to be people, approved. Yeah, I, I'd only want it to be people who we had at least somewhat vetted and had like joined us on streams before with games. Yeah, I agree. I was. Always, uh, always try and spook him if I'm if I catch him streaming. I'll, like I'll just randomly join. It's like, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess getting it back to to VTubers. So we've mentioned Whole Alive. Like, what what do we think about like the big VTuber agencies um, versus sort of the indie VTubing scene? Do you think it's it, it's good that there is these big VTuber agencies? Do you think it makes it harder for indies to get noticed? Um. um. Go Look, I'm glad. I'm glad that there are there are there are agencies. I don't really know uh, terribly much about them. I usually just tend to my own uh, state of my own world, but um. Look, I'm glad if they're if they're helping out people. Uh, some some VTuber is great. Mm. I'm not a fan of like them switching out the person who plays the VTuber. I feel like that's really disingenuous to me. But mm. at the same time, the, the they they own the VTuber, not the person. So I mean, okay, that, I guess that's not really my area. To Does critique. that happen often? I, well, I will say like, with like whole live and Niji Sanji, it doesn't. They have like the whole graduation thing, um, right. which is kind of reminiscent of idol culture in in Japan, where the whole like the the model and like the character themselves, yeah, they're kind of owned by the the company, and so it just once they leave, the character is essentially dead. I hate using that word, but <laughs> dead. Yeah. Um, well, That's a shame. In, in, in some ways, they are dead, um, especially if you really piss off your agency on the way out the door um Russia. i mean what um <laughs> that was crazy do you know about this fix no so there was Ooh, a member of there was a, a member hole, of whole right? live her name was uraha Russia. um i will say before i go any further it was found out after the fact that she had been living for years as an undiagnosed uh with undiagnosed bipolar disorder okay um and that that's very um important great. To the story going forward um, but yeah. she was someone who was known in the company for playing games and just absolutely raging during, when she played games. Like, you know, the kind where you just break controllers kind of rage. Yeah. Um, and she, you could hear that she was breaking her keyboard multiple times on streams. Oh, dear. Um, it was that would make me worrying. very uncomfortable. 
yeah but she was also she also kind of fashioned herself into this girlfriend experience type vtuber okay and um to the point where her birthday merch at one point was an actual wedding ring that you could buy that's Uh, not a healthy relationship for a streamer and particularly a vtuber to have with their audience um and apparently, I don't know if this is true or not. If, as far as I know, this has never been proven, but it's been highly speculated that she was also having um, relationships with her fans. Okay. Um, particularly the ones that donated a lot of money. Mm. Uh huh. Um, and a lot of this, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that all came out all at once. And then it, it accidentally got leaked that she had an actual boyfriend. And that's a big no no in the idol world in Japan. Um, and it ca- and then she just started just casually leaking secrets about the company she worked for whole life. Um, also, big no no if you're signed a contract with the company. Yeah, yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> and she basically uh, on on the way out the door because she got fired. She's I think so far the only the second. person. She's the only one. In, no, she's the, she's the good. second person in whole life that's been fired. The first person was he told me Chris and Gen uh, Gen One who got fired before oh. she even had a chance to debut. Oh. But um, but like Rusha is the only like one that like she got fired after like you know being in the company for a while because she's been yeah for how she's been streaming for how long at she that had point? been streaming at that point for I think two two and a half years. Uh, well, there you go. It was a very very public like, and it was yeah it was a very well, public so. thing, and she just basically just lit a match and 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 set the building on fire as she walked out the door basically. Oh my god! Um, and then it it. it I guess I'll comes right out that she had been living as an uh, undiagnosed uh, person with undiagnosed bipolar disorder, and uh, yeah, it, it was great. Right. <laughs> um, oh my god, that's that's a way. Like, if you fall out with your agency, that's a, a textbook way how not to handle it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's gonna ruin your career if you if you if you want anything in the future. <laughs> well, it didn't ruin her career too much because she's with another VTuber agency now. Why? As a completely different character. <laughs> um, I mean, you can change your character, but if that's your personality, that's your personality. I will say, I, I've watched her new stuff with the new character. It definitely, number one, it seems like she's definitely on some medication. Okay, look, is, if she's gotten help, then great. It does sound like she, she there was a lot of red flags there. Yeah. Um, also, uh, don't be afraid of therapy if you're a content no. creator. Just say. Also, also, don't offer wedding rings to your fans, please. No, I, I think that's something that, that has really come like front and center too with VTubers is the parasocial nature of the relationships yeah. that some VTubers have with their fans and some fans have with VTubers. Mm-hmm. I we mean, did an episode about this that? like ages ago Has... about parasocial relationship. Yeah. We have. Have you experienced that at all, Vic, so far? No, not yet. No. Oh, uh, I've I, I have experienced people Knock on wood. <laughs> both IRL and and um and as a VTuber, I've experienced some people going, You have a husband and you're showing those? You're disloyal. <laughs> like, bitch, uh, my husband's what? next to me. <laughs> <sighs> People online can be really, really, really dumb. It's oh, they can. It's great. Yeah, it's fun. It's funny when you get the terminally online people in your chat, though, isn't it? Mm. You just but, look at but them and like, go, "Touch grass, Stu- It's fine. <laughs> but I think die. the fact that you, the fact that you like are upfront about it and honest with like your audience about it is already like automatically filters out a lot of those people. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, because most of these will be like, "Oh," and they, they just like. They bounce, and I think that's for the better, honestly. Yeah, they need to bounce I, more. They don't bounce enough. <laughs> oh, ooh, I see. <laughs> bounce them, bounce them next, like a basketball, fix. Bounce them like a yeah, basketball. Yeah, my my, uh, my next rigor is gonna. I'm gonna be like, they need to bounce more, more. <laughs> I want them to knock me out when I jump. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. It it, it is bounce into something else. It is weird though. Like you know how we were told is because I think all of us here are big anime fans as well. Um, yeah. I mean, we're on an anime podcast. The time I, crazy. Well, I, I don't know. know. How that works. What's what's anime? Um, it's funny how we were told for years that anime girls aren't real in the tie. They're real now. Look, we have one here. We did it. We cracked the code. We, we cracked the code. Anime girls are real. <laughs> um, 
I, I will say, streaming brought out the anime girl in Alex. So maybe it's been an anime girl all these years and we just didn't know. <laughs> the sounds you make on stream is, I'm like, God, why? Like, that makes me question oh, my this, this is relationship. This is someone who, who literally it redeems me to say anime shit on stream. Ooh. Bruh. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> why am I friends with you? <laughs> That's a question you should ask yourself way more often than you do. Uh, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> uh, so, as an, as an indie VTuber, Vix, do you think... First of all, I want to ask, like, if you were ever given the chance to join a VTuber agency, would you consider it? And do you think, as an indie VTuber, there is actually a path forward as an indie VTuber to get to, like, the... Uh, the big subscriber numbers like 250,000, 500,000, a million, or is getting like following a following like that largely reserved for people who have like an agency behind them? Okay. Um, okay. First, first question Would I ever consider joining an, an indie, a, 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 an agency? I, I don't think I would. Um, it would really depend on the contract that was given to me. Like, mm. I'm tempted because of money, but I mean, yeah. At the same time, I want to be I want to be myself, and I don't want that controlled. I, I, mm. So I, I don't think I don't think that I would I would like that. It would really depend on what they offer me. If they if they were like, hey, we want to we want you to voice um, this this VTuber, but you have to be a say so VTuber. You can't say this. You can't say this. You can't do that. You have to play these games. I'd be like, nah, I don't want you to control me. I'm sorry. Mm. Your money's nice, but mm -hmm. I'm me. This is yeah. why I do it. So I think largely I would I would remain as an indie VTuber. But mm. also, by moving on to your other questions, though, you don't have to belong to an agency to make a big in the world of VTubing. You really don't. All it is the the same kind of thing for any IRL streamer, any other other kind of streamer. So long as you've got like you gotta put the work in to get big. Mm. It doesn't matter yeah. what you're doing. It a lot of it counts. Uh, a lot of it is like how often you stream, um, mm -hmm. what you're streaming, how how much can you engage with your chat, having it's a just, schedule. Uh, <laughs> that's a work in progress. <laughs> um, it's almost like that was directed at Vix. <laughs> fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a there's a lot of work that goes into streaming, not just IR, or not just IRL, or not just um, VTubing. But if you can work on that, then you you can make a big. I know a lot of indie indie VTubers that have made a big. Tricky Wee and Monarch, just for example, I mentioned them earlier. They are indie VTubers and like they constantly bring in a lot of people monarch yeah. does a lot of uh, a lot of stuff outside of youtubing she's also a voice actress as well so she's got that i'm, I'm sure is, what uh, else Lee Lai, does. Right? on youtube uh yes yes she yes. is yeah yeah so that she does a lot of music she, like, covers as well audience yeah. yeah she's she's great um she's I'm, unsure, I'm unsure of what tricky Wee does outside of youtubing but she she constantly has about two thousand people in her chat so mm -hmm. You can Good make it big without an agency. So I'm not entirely sure. I mean, other than just getting a quick leap in fame. Do you think that um, being an indie VTuber, do you think there's a bigger emphasis on necessarily being a, um, uh, a variety streamer? Whereas, like, I, I see a lot of the bigger indie VTubers, they're, they're very, very good at a, a specific thing. Like Monarch, mm. for example, singing um yeah. is kind of what what they're known for um you have um uh the french vtuber uh Sarve, who is an artist um and is very <laughs> yeah. very good at it uh, and is constantly streaming it um not that they don't do other things it's just that's what they're known for do you yeah. think that as an indie vtuber if you focus more on one type of content over being a variety streamer it helps or hurts I, I don't think it necessarily matters too much. I, I think that, like, Monarch was a singer before she was a VTuber, so of course she's mm -hmm. going to bring that into her work. Uh, the French artist that you mentioned was likely a French artist before they started VTubing, so of course yes. that's what, gonna, what they're going to do. I was an artist before I started any of my things, so, I mean, I don't do as many art streams as I would like to, but mostly because Twitch doesn't allow the kind of things I draw. Um, <laughs> yeah, but if I started doing a lot of art streams, it wouldn't be because they're 
I wouldn't be making that my brand because I want to be that. Mm. I'm just doing it because I want to. So yeah. variety games, maybe it's just because they want to play a large variety of games. Mm. Or if they want to stick to one thing, that's just what they want to do. Yeah. It, there it, are a lot of people, be... though, I will say. There are a lot of people that do stick on, um, like, play what's hot right now because that's going to get them, mm. that's going to get the them views. follows and stuff. But yeah. I do think, personally, it's more important to play or do whatever it is that you want to do because that's going to reflect in your, the content that you're producing. Yeah, someone actually asked me uh, on stream, like, why do I play older games? Because that's what I have fun playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's how why are you playing a game, Alex? Why enjoy. are you playing a game that it takes thirty mods to even run on a modern system? Because it's a good game. <laughs> it's a good game. You enjoy the crashes. Listen, but correct I, me if I'm I, wrong, but go ahead. No, go ahead. no, no, no finish that thought. I'll go to. Something I was gonna else. say, like, I am playing Fallout New Vegas, and I'm about to start a stream of. Well, at the mm -hmm. time this comes out, I will have already started it. Um, of Star Wars Knights of the Republic, two games that are infamous for not running very well on modern machines. Son here is an Obsidian fan. I see. I do. I love Obsidian. <laughs> but like my my my, so so this is like maybe like a guess. But I I assume that you'd probably if you have like something that you specialize in that maybe like you feel a niche. But ninety nine percent of the time, people just stick around for the personality if they like get attached mm, yeah. to your personality, right? That's the yeah. like whenever you, we talk about like our favorite VTubers and the stuff we like about we we. Not necessarily talk about like what they do, what they play, or just like the memes, or like they're just how they personally come through, right? Mm. So that's mm. the main thing that people stick around the with. Personality. That's not only VTubers, yeah. but streamers, YouTubers, all of them. Which yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah, with yeah, VTubers, exactly. with VTubers and, and Vix, I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong about this. With VTubers, like yeah, a, a really well designed character can only get you so far. What you're really mm -hmm. going to get far with is your personality and how you present not yeah. only yourself but the content you're putting out there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're gonna have there are so many different types of viewers out there, but one of the, in particular, there is the type of viewer that will uh, join your stream and chat to you and whatnot because of the game or content that you're creating. And mm -hmm. then there's the type of viewers that will stay with you no matter what you are playing because they are following you, not what you are doing. Mm. Yeah, which seems to be yep. most of our viewers on stream. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. Hey, I love you. Thank you. The per personally, I think those ones are the those ones are the best ones because they're gonna stay with you no matter what you're doing. Whereas if you're mm. playing like a really popular game, say you're playing Resident Evil Four, for example, really hot right now, and you yeah. get a lot of people that are joining you, and suddenly you're really big for that month, and then you start playing something else, and that drops. Like I yeah. think it's better to just to have the people that are uh, are in love with you than in love with the game. Yeah. Did you experience like these like spikes in like uh, people coming in for like one particular reason or another? Um, so far, so far, uh, there's been I have actually gotten quite the growing from playing from playing Persona Five. That's um, awesome. that's been quite hot recently. So so that's been really good for me. But I think because I played like two hundred hours of it, they kind of was like, you know what? <laughs> I like this chick. She's this cool. Is just, this is just what she does now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I've had a couple of people come in and going, which Persona game are you playing next? And I'm like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> so, like, so, so which Persona, Persona play, game are you out. playing? <laughs> I'm going to play Persona 5 Strikers next. <laughs> uh, 3 is great. I would recommend 3 as well. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people not, tell not, me a lot not, of good not a, things. You're not a variety streamer anymore. You're just a Persona streamer. I'm a, you're Persona, a Persona streamer. streamer. Let's it's face done. it. Let's be real. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your color scheme you got going on is perfect for Persona 5. Oh, right? it is, yeah. <laughs> Red oh, and black. So, yeah. All planned out. It got it, she got it all planned out. <laughs> She's playing 5D <laughs> chess. Everyone else is playing checkers. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I see. So, That's cool, though. Uh, we talked earlier about um, sort of some misconceptions people have about how easy it is to uh, become a VTuber. Like, for you, like, how expensive was it for you to become a VTuber? Because it's not a cheap proposition for most people. No. Okay, so my model that I'm using right now, and this is not including anything else that I may have bought for the stream itself, but just mm -hmm. my model, the art and rigging, it cost me about $2,000 AU. Holy mm -hmm. shit. 
two thousand. Yeah, so that doesn't dollars. include any emotes or anything else I've bought for like stream overlays or anything like that. That's just my model. But I I am the kind of person that goes big and goes hard. So right when I realized mm. that I wanted to do this, I was like, I'm not gonna half-ass this. I don't want some cheap model from 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 Etsy. I'm gonna go big. So I saved up hard for this, and I looked up, uh, I looked up the artist that I wanted. I looked at the rigor that I wanted, and was like, I'm doing this. I just need to know how much I need, and I I worked hard for that money to to buy this and I, I like i told my dad how much this cost and he was like he had the same reaction that you two had was just oh but i'm like it, it's <laughs> fine though i love this and i will gladly spend that much well. again for a new model i would i will say i i looked it up just now as of right now two thousand australian dollars is equal to one thousand three hundred and forty one u.s dollars <laughs> That's not a cheap yeah. proposition. You get you can that buy Aussie food. dollar is going strong. I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like the Japanese yen right now, Natsai. Oh, we're not talking. Uh, who, who. <laughs> um, God, buying bastards. merch from Whole Alive is very expensive right now. <laughs> um, but ha having said all that, though, I like like again, I'm the kind of person that goes hard and go uh, that goes hard or goes home. So, but if you are just getting into it, like I started as a PNG tuber as well until my model was done. Um, but I'm also an artist, so I made my own PNG. Um, but if you're just getting Which into helps. it, there are cheap options on Etsy, on Fiverr that you can get. I, I recently just got a GIF model for Vira. So that's just like a little GIF that moves around and lights up when he talks mm. and has a different animation. Um, but that, that was reasonably cheap. That was like $70 AU. Um, Which if anyone goes to her streams after this and you've never seen it, Vira is the tentacle. Yes. Yeah. Vira is my little tentacle, tentacle guardian that followed me through space <laughs> to make sure I didn't get in too much trouble. <laughs> to, I do have a question to bounce off of that. What were yeah. things like for if anyone is listening who is, wants to get into V2P, what were things you wish you knew about it before you got into it and in the process of getting into V2P? Um, I think if knowing. You have a few tips and stuff like that. I think. Definitely do your research on what your artist's capabilities of. Do your research on your artist and your rigor, specifically their contactability and their availability for contact. I mm. struggled a lot with my rigor getting uh, talking with her. She was very lovely when I did talk to her, but she lives in Russia and with everything going on at the moment oh. or at the time was made it very, very difficult. And often I'd actually have to stalk them and find one of their friends on, on, uh, on Twitter to get them to talk to her so that she would talk to me. And uh, so, it would it was very difficult i think the next time i find an artist or a rigger i'm going to find someone who is known for for actually keeping a very open and easy communication um because it, it just that just makes the entire process stressful and very difficult especially when you've paid them so much money and you're like hey i just need an update like is yeah. it working are you are you Could busy you are you sick? elaborate on that because I, I never thought about that about like having to maintain a contact with your rigor once the model is done like what do you how, how come would you oh, once to, it's like... once it's paid for but not completed so i i paid for oh. uh i paid for some of uh, i was like paying in in installments for for my mm -hmm. rigging um but you know when, once it's once it's all paid for but it's not quite finished but you have gotten some some work in progresses of it um i see okay. and it, this is a common practice among artists to pay first and then receive the stuff i, I did the same thing um mm -hmm. then it gets to like a few weeks have passed and you're like where where is it i are, are you okay? okay are you still working on it then that that gets quite fr uh, frightening mm -hmm. for sure um yeah, i can imagine cool. especially when so like you say when so much money is being thrown out there yeah. if it were if it were like 10 15 bucks you would be like oh you know yeah it's yeah no whatever. love lost oh well, I, I, I'll I can find someone I, else. I can absorb a 10 or 15 dollar loss i can't absorb a yeah. two thousand dollar loss <laughs> exactly exactly so definitely do your research on how they conduct themselves how available they are for communication what they are comfortable with as well like i'm a semi lewd tuber i guess you would call me so mm -hmm. it's very important to know what their comfortability is and what their limits are um and whatnot um definitely look up all of their examples talk to them for a bit 
before you actually decide because if you talk to them for like several days or so and they're constantly responding to you that's i think that would be a pretty good sign that they're going to be very good to communicate with hmm. would you say because awesome. as an artist yourself would, would you say it's also a really good idea if you're trying to become a vtuber come to your artist and your rigor with a clear idea in mind for the character you want to be <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that that would help. I, I do uh, think that that would help. I designed my character. She went through several stages of designing. And um, but and then I gave my design to another artist for her to to make. Um, mm. um, I think that I think that that would be very helpful because I can't imagine I've commissioned a few people before and I'm just like, ah, you don't know what to do when I'm the commissioner. It's not so easy to be on the other side of that, is it? <laughs> No, it's really not. I'm just like, I like your art, please make. <laughs> well, I like, I'm, and, um, sure, I'm sure as an artist, you've experienced it too, where people come to you and it's like, I want a character that's like this character. And yes. it's like, okay, and? Yeah. Like, yeah I can yeah, draw exactly. that character. Do you want me to draw that character? Or do you want me to draw a character that's like that character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've done it. I think I've done it a couple of times to you, Manix, as well, when you've come to me for a commission. And I've just been like, okay, cool. Do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? How should I do this? Do you want this? So <laughs> but I'm there, always afraid I think... when I commission you because I just bombard you with references. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I prefer that. I prefer that. Because yeah, you have a clearer vision be... of what you want. When we, when, yeah, when, yeah. when Vix and I are talking about commissions, particularly for like art of our podcast characters, like she already knows the uh, like the general like design of the characters, so I don't have to give references for that. But I'm sitting there like, all right, the background should look like this, but it should have this color palette, and it should they should be wearing this, but with these socks. <laughs> Bro, I, I feel so attacked. I'm one of those people. Like when we were talking about like the new designs for like the podcast avatars, I, I was like, "Well, what do you want for your character?" Like, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> I, uh, just me, I guess. I don't know. You're like, oh, he can he can wear this jacket. He can have this. I'm like, uh, uh, yes, sure. <laughs> I have no vision. Um... <laughs> It just helps us because I don't. The last thing I want to do as an artist is 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 go through to the work of make of making something, but then having it like not liked or like um that's oh, not really sure. what I had in mind. Hmm. You don't always like. Well, if you told me. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. As an artist on, on Twitch, do you find it very? Dif I'm sure you find it very difficult to do the kind of art you want to do. Oh God. Oh. Uh, as an actually on that note, I have this is probably a different thing, but on that note, yes, I have found a very difficult to do art that I want to do on Twitter, um, Twitter specifically. Oh, really? Anyway, you mean um, you mean Twitch? No, no, no. This this time I'm actually talking about actually, Twitter. Twitter, but oh. only because like the the likes or likes and retweets are less. But that's that's a different thing. Oh. On Twitch, yes, yeah, I I draw a lot of not safe for work stuff, which means I have to find different avenues if I do want to stream, which you know, like I can stream on, on, on Pixel or I can stream on Fansly or I can stream stream on Newgrounds or, or whatever. But I mean, you can that's not really going to help me grow on Twitch. Yes, you can. You can stream on Newgrounds now. Wow. I, that, yeah. this, is a, this is a revelation. Wow. Listen, when, <laughs> when Flash going, sorry. died, they had to do something to tie. That's crazy. Sorry, I was like blown away. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I mean, <laughs> streaming on those those platforms, are they might like... It, like maybe some people that follow me on Twitch that follow me on Twitter will go over there and watch me there, but that's not going to help me grow on Twitch. And Pixel was started specifically for NSFW artists, which yes. is it's a shame. It's a shame that it it hasn't like kind of popped off more than it has, um, because it actually like the the UI is really nice. Apparently, from what I've I've talked to with you, like the back end is good. It's like it's easy to get started with it. Yes, um, hmm. it, it works with VTuber uh, VTubing software. You can play game. You're not safe for work games on on Pixel as well. The creator of Pixel is actually really, really friendly, um, very and approachable. And stops by streams. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. He does. Streams. He does. He what? He he stops by your streams and just makes sure your stream quality is going all well. That you're doing fine. It's um. He's he's really lovely. Um. It How is big a big is shame that I've Pixel TV. Till now. Uh. So it should be P I C Z E L. Dot TV, okay. and um. It's um. It is a shame that it's not as popular as as I believe it should be. But I think a lot of people have just gone on to to I think ah, what's the I don't know. 
there's a thing called isn't there where the like other bigger websites have priority over search results or something oh, oh yeah 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 um, well, if you like if you're searching for like streaming for services obviously like things like youtube and twitch are going to come up first yeah yeah exactly so i think that that might be a primary reason why it doesn't get found like i i don't remember how i found it but i'm glad that i did i feel like i feel like with pixel in particular i think their biggest problem is marketing because like natai doesn't yeah. until we talked about it here this is the first time i've ever heard of it yeah Mm. Um, but it's it's usually where you can be found when you stream uh, your NSFW artwork. Yes, yeah. Um, I wish I could do more a... of that on Twitch. Yeah. Mm. It is a shame that there's not like an adults-only section on Twitch. Yeah, you can, you can like, mark your stream as 18+, plus, but that don't mean shit, really. No. Because advertisers just like will see that they're like, whoop, and just will bounce off of Twitch. Like, that's the mm. main reason they won't allow it, you know? Yeah. Because I've yeah. them. Yeah. Which I definitely think that that a, a system like Pixel would definitely be good for NSFW artists going forward. It's just like I said, they're they're just not that great at marketing themselves. Yeah. No. They're 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 quite small. I think they're like a team of seven or five or so. So um, they they are quite small. They do also work full time jobs as well. So they are indie uh, indie developers of the site. But um, if they were if they were a bigger team, I think that they. They, they I, I think have there's a problem. Al- so I, I did do a little bit of digging into them a little while ago, and I think there is also a bit of a stigma with, with Pixel, because mm-hmm. while it is, yes, something that started for NSFW artwork, it started for a very specific type of NSFW artwork. Furry the, artwork. the furry community? Yeah. Oh. I do. I, I mean, I think I do they, find a artists, lot of not safe for work artists work in the furry community. <laughs> well, fur, furry artists... Yeah, there is get, overlap. Like, furry artists mm. get lambasted a lot even on like even if for, for safer work furry art on, on twitch they yeah. get lambasted a lot yeah furries in general like well yeah you tend to get for, that furries, stigma. yeah <laughs> like, furries in general do get lambasted a lot sometimes yeah, with, with reason <laughs> um but yeah that's i think there's also a little bit of a stigma with pixel because that's um kind of really what it started for <laughs> mm-hmm so maybe that's a little bit of it too. Um, I know that really I mean, doesn't it, have it, it just provides true, a like... safe place. Yeah, I know that really doesn't have anything to do with VTubing, but um, yeah. um do, hopefully so they manage to get bigger. Yeah, I, I do hope it manages to get bigger because it yeah. is actually a, a very easy site to use. And uh, listening to Vic's talk about it, it's on the back end. It's also very easy to get started using it. It um, is. It is. So do we think that like VTubing and VTubers are going to like keep rising in popularity or is it like, are we at a, are we at a plateau maybe? Cause mm, I think I, it's going to keep rising personally. I do think, I do think there is a little bit of oversaturation mm-hmm. currently personally. How, how mm. do you mean? Um, so there's, well, you have the big agencies like um, Whole Alive, Niji Sanji, and to a lesser extent now, V Shoujo, but it's also really coming on to it. So, I mean, you got like Iron Mouse, Melody, um, uh, Silver Veil is also on there. Yeah. Um, and they're bringing on new people, Kason. Um, Kason, yeah. Step on the- I mean, I mean, what? <laughs> I think the oversaturation you're talking about is mostly about streamers in general, not necessarily VTubers. Yeah. I I'm, like I yeah. As much as there are a lot of VTubers more now more streamers. than ever, there yeah there are even more streamers in general. As it's just yeah. a side effect of that. You yeah, know? And I, I mean think more and more just, people. Again, I, I think a lot because of COVID, a lot of people just started streaming yeah. way more, <clears> and they found out that there's a big audience for live content. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, you're you're stuck at home. You're bored. You you work from you work from home now because COVID times, right? So you need some entertainment to go on. Why not Twitch? Oh, these people look fun. Oh, hey, they're having a lot of fun with their chat. Maybe I could do that too in my spare time. And that's really how how it beca- how a lot of people who were like maybe who probably wouldn't even associate with Twitch wouldn't even know what it is gets yeah. into Twitch because they're like, oh wow. There's actually a whole other world out here. This is fun. Yep. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, know, I right? don't feel I don't feel uncomfortable now. I can go outside. I can if someone asks me, like like obviously in conversation, not just randomly, hey, where do you work? Um, if someone asks me, you know, oh, what do, what do you do? I'll be like, I I I'm a streamer. And they'll instantly be like, You you stream on Twitch. 
and they know what it is. And yeah. I'm talking about people that are that are like older than me from a generation that might not even know what what streaming is. And they're like, oh, you do that. Nice. It is bigger than ever. Yeah. Especially yeah. after yeah. the pandemic. And, and, and sure. yeah, I think Natalia is right. I think a little bit of the oversaturation that I feel that there is isn't necessarily because there's an oversaturation of VTubers. Although it does seem like everyone and their mother is getting into VTubing these days. Um, but there's um, money. Yeah, there's money, obvious, obviously, because yep. you look at some of the, the biggest uh, streamers out there in terms of um, the revenue that they earn, and like uh, half of them, more than half of them are VTubers Yeah. now. Because I think for a lot of people, like, I think that it would kind of kill, like, being able to stream was the fact that a lot of, like, most of the time streamers need, like, a face cam or something. And, yeah. I mean, you do have outliers, you do have streamers that, don't don't do any face cam like and that's it but being able to be a vtuber sort of like manages to like gives you a solution to that problem like you don't have to show yeah. your face you can like yeah. put an avatar or something and then be at that character instead of like putting a camera yep. on you right yep, yeah yep 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 yeah for sure for sure it's also that. um but yeah and again, it goes back to the whole personality thing. Like it's it's going to be reflected in your personality. You don't have yeah. to be on camera or even have a VTuber model at all. Like if your personality no. is really good, I mean, it, it kind of shows on YouTube, right? Because there are some YouTube creators who have never shown their face. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have and you watch them because their their dialogue is funny. They're, because like, they're funny. Yeah. They're they're best, entertaining. Best example I can give is Internet Historian. For sure. I'm actually like his humor and personality is like oh oh. He's fantastic. Internet historian is great. So he makes these sort of longer form videos about these niche topics. And they're he's a fellow he's, Aussie as well. Oh. I thought he was a Kiwi. Is he a Kiwi? I thought he was Australian. He's either Australian or, or, or New Zealand. I, I don't know. Oh, the same as Wayne. I'm on it. I mean, they both. They both <laughs> same. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't think the Kiwis would feel the same, but never mind. <laughs> uh, Those damn mainlanders. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No, New Zealanders are just redneck Australians. Oh my god. <laughs> someone told me someone told me a couple of months ago um that like the rednecks of Australia are Tasmanians. Nah, the rednecks of Australia nah. are Queenslanders. Really? Yeah. Queenslanders are something that. else, man. <laughs> mm. Um I forgot where I was going with this. Oh, yeah, we, we go very to, off topic. Yeah, you don't have to. First of all, Vix, definitely go look up Internet Historian and watch some of his videos because he's fucking hysterical. His his <laughs> video on uh, the failure of he Fallout is a Kiwi. 76. Sorry, my bad. I thought so. His his video on the failure of Fallout seventy six is one of the funniest things I've ever watched in my life. Also, the No Man's Sky video he did is fantastic. oh yeah the the No Man's Sky <laughs> when he even just on non gaming. Thank you, sorry. I was gonna say he titled it "Yes Woman's Land." It's just literally the opposite of No Man's Sky. The even not the game related, he did like a two part video about the about about the COVID. It was really really good. He also like, did a, a video about the whole Costa Concordia disaster that was really funny. That was insane. That wow, that video. Which, blew it's my it's mind, funny man. as funny as that is. It's also an incredibly well researched video. Yeah, just very well put together video. It was really funny. Really entertaining. And, it, and the but funniest anyway. thing is, all of his art assets are just clip art that he's repurposed. <laughs> he's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, is he, uh, he, like, he kind of as a VTuber because he uses Hide the Pain Herald as an avatar. Uh, give me a break. <laughs> um, but to your question about like, I don't know how much bigger VTuber can VTubing can become because it feels like it's bigger than ever. Like freaking Iron Mouse is what like the third biggest uh she's streamer huge. on twitch she's she's huge. huge and like which is awesome i'm very happy for us for also her can success. i say like number one she is puerto rican as fuck but the <laughs> the first time the first time i ever heard her because she's a, i didn't realize this until i had heard her do it um she is a classically trained opera singer um, nice. she's it's incredible. What she's always, yeah. it's what she always wanted to do but she got i, I forget what the name of the she has a, a a genetic disease i think it's a genetic disease that uh, affects her lungs so she can't do that oh. anymore she, oh, she had it, it kind of 
it sidelined her entire like first career choice. So when she became a VTuber and she does singing streams, but she doesn't do like the, uh, the operatic the, stuff that often, yeah, the, but the the occasionally stuff. occasionally she does. And you can tell by the end of the song, like she's whipped. Like she's done. She, yeah. She, she, she's yeah. incredible but though. The, she's the very first talented. time I heard her belt out like genuine opera. I was like, Holy fuck. She yeah. can sing so good. Wow. I can only do uh, that in the shower. <laughs> as, as someone who was uh, in the same room well in the same apartment with you for a week no you can't <laughs> <laughs> no let me have it let me have it let him dream <laughs> oh man don't uh, let my yeah, memes be dreams i, I do genuinely exactly. wonder how how much bigger it can get i mean obviously now with usada Bekra being like the most donated to female streamer like it's incredible <laughs> how do you get higher than that I, one thing i will say is that um a lot in fact i would say all of the major like the big players in the vtuber space are uh female and yeah i, have I noticed wonder that. I, I do wonder i do wonder if there is going forward going to be a bigger space um for male vtubers to climb that high there aren't I that think... many big male vtubers right no, there there's aren't. A, there's a few of them that I know of that I absolutely adore, like Sayu, for mm. example. He's amazing. Mm. Um, but I, I, again, I'm not entirely certain if it is necessarily whether the whether there's a, a female market or just a, a market in in general for people who are entertaining. I think mm. that because because there are some great shining examples of male VTubers who have made it just as big as other other females, then mm. I think that, I mean, again just like just like with any other kind of content creation if you are entertaining people will love you for it maybe maybe there's just a smaller pool of male vtubers and thus thus there's a there's an influx of an influx influx of female v vtubers <laughs> have gotten popular so i won't deny though um the female art aspect does help the attraction I mean, boobs sell really well. <laughs> they do. I'm so they glad do. you're the one to say it and not me. I'm, I'm, I was like, <laughs> you know, oh, oh. Natai, we all know you're thinking the exact, all three of us <laughs> are thinking the exact same thing. Boobs are great. Boobs are great. Girls will the sell. There is always. From you, Alex, not me. I'm good. <laughs> Vic, so, Vix, so am long... I wrong? Am I wrong? Are boobs not fantastic? Like the greatest thing that nature has ever created? They are fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and I you don't know the pain I feel because I don't <laughs> have a pair to fondle that are not mine. <laughs> Alex, Alex was like, "Was what? Why aren't you gay?" I'm like, "Men don't have boobs, bro." <laughs> I mean, exactly. some some men do. So, some do, some do. Anyway, I mean, you anyway. just gotta gain a little bit of weight, Natai. You just gotta gain some weight. Stop touching yourself, <laughs> Drink man. Drink more Stop milk. It. Drink more milk, yes. It needs more milk. It needs some <laughs> milk. It needs some milk. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I do wonder because if you look at like just streaming in general, a lot of the um, the really big name. I mean, you you have like Amaranth, who I feel like is kind of an outlier um, in yeah. the streaming space. But a lot of the really big, just general streamers, like non VTubing streamers, they are men. Um, mm. You have like Charlie, Moist Critical. <sighs> Um, you have a lot have, of female, like like you, you do. do have a lot of female. Like fucking Pokemon is also one of the biggest ones. And you do, female. but when I when I think of like if you were to say if you were to tell me name a streamer, I, my my Most immediate thought name is like streamers, yeah. My immediate thought is Charlie, Jacksepticeye, Asmongold. Yeah, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Um, and maybe and maybe that's a little bias on my part because like of the streamers that I watch that are. Uh, that aren't VTubers, those well, not Asmongold. I've never actually watched any of his streams, but I know who he is. Um, but like Charlie and Jack and a couple other male streamers are pretty much what I watch in mm. terms of like IRL stuff. I will have like okay. we we should definitely look into it, but like like the biggest streamers, but I because I do wonder how much of it is like male versus female. Uh, streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. biggest streamers in terms of like um revenue or in terms of following active those two go hand in hand though not necessarily Don't you think not, not necessarily, necessarily? You, you can have you can have a decent following but not 
not make because like you you money. took out revenue like like a lot of a lot of Amaranth's revenue is also coming from stuff like OnlyFans, you know. So it's like true. Mm. Well, then you have like, um, and you have like um, content creators like Markiplier, right? Who um, donates a lot of his money. Are... Yeah. Um, he, like he doesn't yeah. actually take like um, doesn't collect his money. He just sends it off to different charities. Same with Mr. Beast. That's really nice. What a fucking Mr. Beast gives away legend. like more than half of the money he makes. But I Alex, he can't it. cure blindness. That's not right. You can't cure blindness and 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 take photographs of it. That's that's rude. <laughs> I like yes. how I just put what it biggest, and the very first thing that comes up on Google is biggest spider in the world. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> I don't want to see the Goliath bird eater. <laughs> Are you sure? No, I'm very <laughs> sure. I'm very sure. I don't want to see that. I don't know. You don't sound sure enough. <laughs> I can sense God. uncertainty in your voice. Uh, I remember when I was God, thinking about jokingly spiders. bringing a spider to the hotel we were staying at. I was like, I'll bring a toy spider just to fuck with Alex. I was <laughs> warned not to do it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gotten I, kicked I told out. Him, I told him in no uncertain terms that if he brought a, a toy or like a fake spider and put it like in my bed, I would literally throw him out the window. <laughs> um... I was trying to look it up real quick and see uh live stream viewership records okay hey, alex we should stay at a hotel together but let's let's stay on the first floor <laughs> huh? no particular reason no no, no particular just, reason for shits and giggles you know <laughs> oh this is individual streams i was looking for streamers like i'm sure there are like lots of individual streams out well. there that, Maybe I can find that have gotten like an enormous amount of like following um, but I was all right. Like, so total general. followers, I I have no idea who these guys are aside from Ninja. I think most of these are guys like top four most followed. Mm. But where? Which? Hmm. You keep going. I'm, I'm looking through. Um, I, I think I may be looking at the same thing you are because like XQC <laughs> is on this list. Um, Quackity. They're all dudes. The fuck yeah, is they're Quackity? all dudes. They're all fucking men. Fucking man, am I right? I know, fucking man. <sighs> right? I mean, I wouldn't fuck man, but you know, to <laughs> oh, each other. I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, seriously, man. seriously. Th this woman right here is like, like she she takes commissions, and by the time this come out, I think your commissions will probably be open again. Uh, maybe. Oh, they're they're uh, open now. I just need to oh, actually get through hey. yours. Um. Uh, I need so, money hey, for my new computer. <laughs> listen, if any if anyone wants to commission an artist, Vix is available. Uh, I'm available. Give me money. I need a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, nice self promotion. I no know, shame. right? I've completely no forgot shame. where I was going with my point. <laughs> About how much like there's like like male to female. Um, um, I know, but I completely forgot. Oh French. no, I remember. I remember. Uh, this this woman. Is like, yeah, I do commissions. I really like Yaoi. No one commissions me to do Yaoi. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I have like one of my best friends at the moment who I'm writing a fan fiction with. Um, she's <laughs> both of us write Yaoi, so thankfully there is my source of Yaoi. <laughs> I just every time I've ever come to you with a uh, like a commission idea for Yaoi, I could just the, the way you respond and you respond so quickly anytime I give you a commission idea for Yaoi, <laughs> I just imagine you reading that DM and going, Woo! Pretty much. <laughs> exactly. It's the Rick Flair gif of him going, Woo! Yeah. Exactly. You, you don't even like, really need to tell me much about what you want in the commission. I'm just like, Done. Yeah, and yeah I just, it's in my head. After the immediate like excitement, I just can see you going, "Tell me more." <laughs> I really, really, I really should not introduce my girlfriend to you. That's what I'm getting from this conversation. Oh, his his girlfriend <laughs> is definitely a, fu a Fujoshi. Ah, uh, yes. It's right here. Mm. <laughs> she uh, she likes she likes guys fucking each other a lot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's all right. You're the same as Vira. Vira is straight as a nail, and like he has to deal with me. He's, we're, we're, it's rough out here for us, you know. We're trying our best. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, he he understand. He doesn't. He doesn't quite understand, but he understands my passion for it. So he's just like, yeah, dear. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I I can understand. relate. I can relate. <laughs> I was no. I was. 
I was talking to Vira one time and he mentioned that he's like, I don't understand it, but her passion for it is very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know he said that. <laughs> She we go were, like I was these, DMing like... with him one time, and, and I said like like how did like you're straight right? And he's like yeah I'm straight. And he's like do you understand it? And he's like no, but her passion is really cute. Oh, I didn't know you said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we would t- we would talk about we uh, we would talk about like. She would go in, in very passionate detail about how Bakugo and Deku is the best ship in MHR and I'd be like, more power to you, I guess. Sure. Whatever makes you <laughs> yeah. happy. Vix, do you, do you watch or do you, you know about My Hero Academia, right? I know of it. I don't know enough to know who the characters are, though. Have you seen the porn? Yes. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. yes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> it's the best thing about MHR. I, I have seen some animations and boy. <laughs> Man, I should, but we're not here to talk about Yaoi. We're here to talk about VTubers. Yaoi VTubing? Oh my god, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is getting out of hand. Is... Now there are two of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else because uh, we're at 90 minutes and I know you kind of had a little bit of a time crunch here. So I don't want to. Yeah, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the time and I'm like, oh my God, we could talk about this for hours yet. But um, I'm also like, mm. I think I think I think that's actually a good spot to to wrap it up. Uh, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up. Yes, this is a good point to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yowie VTubers is a great point. To stop. I will, I'll wrap it up with one final question for, for everyone else or for everyone here. Uh, and Vix, you can start first. Besides yourself, obviously, uh, who is your favorite VTuber? Tricky Wee. Okay. <laughs> Natai, I, I already know your answer because she's sitting right next to you. She's right off screen. Uh, I love Andorisu. Uh, please come on the podcast. Let's talk about nuts. I'm so down for it. <laughs> show, show Vix the lamp. Well, I, it, it, it has no batteries right now, but it's pretty much like a like you can't see uh, but it's a let's see maybe i can no i can't but it's basically like the character of her like oh yep yep, yep. Li- i can see yeah. oh she's cute it lights i up. love it, it alex like, gifted it to me i gave it yeah. this is this is a gift i gave him for christmas i sent it to him because it oh. wasn't available in his country oh i love that <laughs> uh but he he loves ayundarisu from from whole live indonesia uh-huh. uh gosh she's so nice. funny <laughs> Big, Big nuts. tasty Big nuts. nuts. Was Submissive it, uh... and breathable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that she, clip so just for so anyone who, who doesn't know about Ayundarisu, uh, Ayundarisu is an Indonesian uh, VTuber, a uh, part of Whole Alive, and um, she loves Western meme culture a lot. Aww. She's a shit uh, dude. She is a sh- she is like the personification of a shit poster. <laughs> yeah. Um. And her, her, like she, she takes these, um, like Western and particularly like American memes and just like makes them incredibly funny because she'll just like, like the, the phrase submissive and breedable, like just the way she says it is hysterically fun. submissive and breedable. <laughs> I love it, but yeah, she's great. Um, uh, shout outs to Ellie, and she's also like a VTuber I came across fairly recently, also like her a lot. Yeah, um, I think. Mean, it's no secret who my favorite is, even though I don't have any merch of her. Um, it is how, yeah, how come you don't have any merch of your favorite? What's wrong Listen, with you, Alex? Finding merch for her is sometimes difficult and it's expensive. <laughs> who is who is your the favorite? man who paid 300 for a calligraphy art? But yeah, Listen, I was there, I did there was no shipping cost involved. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Sakura Miko, who is one of the original oh, yeah. whole alive VTubers, um, she's part of Not what they the call baby. Gen Zero. Um, um and she's she's also the only member of Whole Life who has always had a 3D model. Um, oh, nice! Um, but uh, she's not the baby. <laughs> not, she's not, not the, the baby. Not the baby. Um, she was when when COVID first popped off. She was one of the VTubers who really gained a lot of traction because she started playing GTA Five, um, and she absolutely fell in love with the game. And she was trying bless her heart because she can't speak a lick english um but she was trying so hard to just talk about the line like like repeat Mm. the lines that she was hearing in the game um 
especially the 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 famous <laughs> inward line. Um, that oh, clip dear. is oh. incredible. Oh. Don't don't try and re re reproduce that clip, please. Don't don't don't. I, I want to. <laughs> don't. That clip though blew up very hard when she pretty much said yeah. the N word during one of her streams. When, when she said the N word on stream, and it's the way she said it too. So funny. I love the clip. That's how. Uh, I mean, I think it's safe to say that that's how a lot of people came across VTubers for the first time. It's through that clip. I know that's how I came across yeah. it for the first time. I remember when I shared that and you were laughing your fucking ass off, and Ty. I, I shared, I we were on a crying. call together and I, I shared my screen on Discord and I you were laughing your fucking ass off. So funny. Um, so funny. The funny thing is, like, she's become so associated with um, GTA 5 that one of the voice actors from GTA 5 on one uh, on her birthday sent her like a um, a video of him wishing her happy birthday. That's so cool. Yeah. Um granted it was something that a lot of her followers put together to to make happen, but it was still it was still really cool to see. Um I'm trying to think if there's yeah, any other I mean, was great. I, I'm a I'm a member I'm a I'm a member. I'm a uh, follower of many other whole alive YouTubers, obviously the uh, the most uh, um, toxic the most toxic gamer in all of Whole Alive. <laughs> Remember that time she almost said the N word on on stream? That was great. Oh, I remember. Remember that one day where she almost typed the N word on screen? <laughs> so, for those who don't know, it's not she's not well. Maybe she's. I, I like the fact that people were. There was someone about a year a year ago that said there's so many people in whole life. Statistically, at least one of them is racist, and everyone in the in the comments is going, "It's Ame. Ame's Ame. the racist. It's Ame's Ame. the racist." <laughs> But no, she she's been around. Uh, the person who is behind Ame has been online for a long time as a as a gamer. Um, if you know where she came from and you know what she gamer looks like, girl. she she looks like the most stereotypical gamer girl ever. Um, but she's great. She's very entertaining. Uh, oh shit! She's also uh, become essentially like tech support for Whole Alive because she's like really good with computers. <laughs> um. But um, she has a history of um, reverting to the gamer words on stream sometimes. <laughs> and it's fun to watch. Okay, now, man. <laughs> um, also, I love Ina from Whole Alive Ian because like her, her art streams will heal your soul. Aww. All right. That's it. This, uh, was, a, that's... Th this was a very thorough episode. I think yeah, I, it's certainly, I think it uh, it's certainly it's it's been fun to watch where VTubing has come in the three years since John and I first talked about it. Yeah, um, it's been even f more fun for me as someone who's been watching VTubers for a long time, starting, of course, like I said, with Keys and I, just to how <clears throat> how accessible it's gotten, how many people have gotten into it, how many people who, when this first started off, like Vix herself, said that this is kind of not that great, it's kind of shitty, it, it's pushing streamers out of their out of their spaces, and now look at us now. <laughs> Yep, exactly. Oh, the mic, yeah. been fallen. converted. Yep, one of us. Mm. One it, has of grown, us. <laughs> it has grown a lot, and I'm looking forward to seeing how much more it grows as well. Yeah, I am too. Um, hopefully we get to the point where um, either myself or our mascot, uh, Finn, can become a VTuber. Um, I'm hoping Look, that happens. It wouldn't be point. difficult. It wouldn't be difficult for you. I mean, it wouldn't be difficult, but it would be expensive. It would be pricey. <laughs> oh, that's that's sure. the only thing. That's the most difficult thing is just the price. But everything else is actually really, really easy to set up and do. Yeah, like the technical stuff behind the scenes, like using like VTube Studio and stuff like that, I feel like I could get yeah. a grasp on pretty easily. It's just oh, yeah. the, the price hurdle is really what's it's the only the thing that's stopping yeah. yeah. Um, but for now, um, I'm a PNG For now, we'll have to do with flesh and blood, you know? Well, this <laughs> or, you know, I got the PNG tuber, the Fox Boy on on twitch um but uh before we do go vix um if you want to use this chance now to plug anything you got going on um any kind of collabs you got coming up that you know about um your art uh, I, go ahead. I have just i have just finished the the collabs that i had planned actually so they're all done but um you can catch me most days on again. on twitch at uh vix underscore Eller. Um, I am. I do stream pretty almost every day. I don't think I'll be streaming today, though. Um, yeah, I do stream usually every day around 12 p.m. Australian time, or I'll stream at night time from 6 p.m. onwards. So you, you can you can pretty much catch me almost every day. Otherwise, I'm on Twitter uh, at Vixalure. 
it's it's um, right there. It's right, yep. hold on, I got this. How do I there we go? There we go. <laughs> there I know it is. Right there left. it is. <laughs> I know I know right and left. It's right there. Yep, yep, exactly. Right, 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 right here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Draw um, your attention to the titties. Follow the booba. Follow the booba. You see it? It's over here. It's over here. It's right here. Okay, okay, good. All right. Uh, um, also, also my commissions are open. Please commission me. I want a new computer. Yes, you also have a Discord <laughs> server people can join as well. How oh, I do have a Discord server. I have two Discord servers. I'm sorry. How what? can people, uh, I was about to ask, for people who are interested in commission stuff from you, how can they contact you through Twitter oh, or for uh, other means? Uh, yeah, DM me through uh, through Twitter. Um, I, I do respond to my to my Twitter, Twitter messages pretty frequently. Um, if you are in my Discord as well, um, dms as well i i do um respond very quickly on my on my discord i think matt matt, matt next do i respond quickly when you're not sleeping <laughs> cool awesome <laughs> time do, zones do, allow. Keep, do keep in mind that, that vix is australian so there may be a slight delay when she's Aussie, sleeping. Aussie, Aussie. yeah oi 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 <laughs> <laughs> there we go <laughs> uh yeah yeah i think that's all all right i awesome. have a subathon uh, in september yeah, looking definitely forward to looking it. forward to that. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you sometimes collab with us on stream. We got to get you yes. on again for some plate up because that was fun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we got to not just that. It's been great having you on um, the podcast. The few times you've been on, um, definitely got to get you back on again sometime as well. Um, I feel like I could say so much more about V tubing if I wasn't strapped for time. I, listen, we can always do a follow up. We can always do a yeah. follow up. I'd love to have you on one of our WTF on episodes. It's just that when we mm. usually do those, oh, yeah. you're asleep. <laughs> yeah. There, we do, we start doing those. Usually we start recording those around or streaming those around like 4 a.m. your time. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, that's too early for me. <laughs> yeah. How about, yeah. How about it, Natai? How about it? What is it now? 3.40 a.m.? Let me check. Ah. 3.40 a.m. Hey, let's go. Second night in a row as well. Yes, let's go. Let's go. The All things right, I well, do for love, am I right? Yes, yeah, right? The things you do for... Yeah, fuck you, life. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there you oh, go. The, the, That's the, why we're all here. <laughs> uh... Anyway, thank you all for dropping out there. Uh, dropping out there? Let me let me try that. Dropping, one. Just, uh, drop it from the window? Dropping us, out of school. Uh, thank you all out there for dropping in to watch us. Uh, check the description below where you can find links to Anime Club After Dark on Twitch, on social media, and on Discord. I'll also put links down below to where you can find uh, Vix herself, both on Twitch and on Twitter. Um, we also have a merch store where you can uh, find lovely little mugs like this and other merch if you would like to support us that way. Also, this this has a reverse on this mug. Uh, little yeah, Fenbucks coffee. Fenbucks logo. coffee. So cool. um, I can't wait to get sued because of that design. <laughs> ah, you'll be fine. It's parody. Yeah. It's parody. It's under exactly, it's parody. fucking law. It's fine. We'll be fine. But with that, I have been your host, Alex, and I will see you next time. Say goodnight. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> You know what we didn't talk about? What? VTuber lore. Oh, I ever fucking go. Oh, oh my god. Now I'm <laughs> I never going to go to sleep. I have I have very loose lore and people are like, "What's your lore?" I'm like, uh. Some people you decide. Uh, about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let me just just show them your boobs. That's your lore, right? <laughs> yeah, my, my 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 lore um these? <laughs> Oh, why well, yes, I do have a very expensive lore. Is I mean, you know, <laughs> very expansive and cavernous lore. <laughs> Go searching and find it. Find it for yourself. It's fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>